What does it mean to call somewhere home? Is it an address? The place where your unopened mail goes, sent to a version of yourself that no longer exists. Is it where you lost your first tooth? Saw your first snow? What do you imagine when you peer into the sky? Is it where you took your first steps? Or maybe where all the other firsts occurred in a past others tell, but you don't remember. I'm growing up in different zip codes. I say this in the present tense because while some may imply growing ends with childhood, my still changing, ever confused 24 year old self would say otherwise. Perhaps home is a memory. I had this thought as I stared at my old pictures taken before I had two citizenships and any recollection of a town I originally came from. You could tell me I was born from a fire and it feels the same. It's beautiful but far, not something I fully connect with or can truly touch. I feel safe when I'm there, next to it, but it's an element, distant, meant to only leave you enthralled. A what if, or could have been. A storyline to daydream about and wonder if in an alternate universe that you'll never know, what would have happened? It's something you can't stop thinking about. Maybe home comes from staring at the faces of those who have passed down pieces of you. A dimple here, matching ears there, and maybe matching laughter all just born on a different body from a different generation. For some, home is on the move. The whispers of yourself trailing behind you, soaking into your shoulders from packed suitcases and pictures you forgot you had taken. I didn't think I was like this until it already happened. Packed and unpacked, concealing bits and pieces of me until I was rearranged so much I didn't have to think about if this was a way for me not to remember. I thought I was a nester, a firm boulder buried deep into the sand. But it found me, unexpectedly, as I was in one of my dazes. I was wandering about, unknown and transparent, preferably hoping never to be found. It snuck up on me like a sudden kiss on the lips as I was alone. Standing on a path my feet found unfamiliar, yet this ghost greeted me here, on a different continent, far from where my license says or what my passport claims. It's warm, unsettling, and soothing embrace. Welcome back is how it felt. You were brought here for a reason. Yeah. This is home. It's not always a plot of land or a pin on a map. Sometimes it doesn't even feel like a choice. But that's a type of love and romance we secretly adore. To be suddenly so coveted, so loved, it's almost remorseful. We are so easily swept up and convinced. This is what I've been waiting for all along. I thought I was better than that, but no, my ghost proved me wrong. I've caught myself in a cliche. I have been, unknowingly, chasing after a feeling. I think I've been secretly hoping to run into the answer. A chance encounter. That person or opportunity to take myself on a new, undefinable path. I had made myself believe in a promise I didn't remember a wish to be happier, a reason to settle down, an urge to sit still and take things seriously. Direction, that's what I was looking for. Though secretly, I think I knew all along. I've been trying to fill a space that isn't even empty. But this feeling, this feeling of searching for a home is embedded deep inside me. I never left and I haven't been tending to it, not realizing I've become overgrown. 
My roots are dark and ever winding. I've burrowed across state lines, continental maps, and deep into the ocean. My roots are tangled in subway carts, open fields, and jet engines. I fought with myself on numerous counts, internally wishing I was less difficult and more capable of just planting my roots downward, deep into the earth's mantle. I wish I could stop worrying people and do like everyone else. But when I look down, I am on fire. Wood does not mix with many others. I can't just wield an axe high and stop because you want me to. I'm desperate to make something of this, any of it. A big tree in a forest is not enough. I want to reach the sky. I used to think I was running, but I hate what that word implies. Running means I'm fleeing, avoiding things at all costs, but that's not true. I'm chasing, pursuing, sprinting with all my might. If you're willing to take results as they are and learn from them, you'll find you feel a bit silly, forever freezing in fear. Never cower before a new path, a new zip code, or a crash of thunder. If all else fails, take a look at your roots and where they all gather. My home, my core, and where it all begins are within me. Embroidered by love and laughter, shared by those young and old. My address is wherever my curiosity takes me. My first steps were the start of many more to follow. My ghost is waiting. My roots are moving quick, precise and violent. I'm sorry, but I won't be here tomorrow. My history is within my eyes and deep within my marrow. I'm never that far away because my home is here. Right now, nestled amongst billions of others. I'm facing forward and my feet are planted on the ground. They'll leave this place over and over again, propelled by a migration until I can no longer be found. And I'm not scared, because I've already traveled this far. So yes, home is in this feeling. To know oneself even amongst others. This is home. The part of you that's already on the path of a fate you've yet to realize.